I bought a boat, half a world away, sight unseen. So I'm saying crazy, probably ain't crazy. We'll see. The hardest part though so far has been getting to it. This is my story. Hi, I'm Ron Amos from New Zealand. My friends call me Skeet. You know, I grew up in a sailing family and my fondest memories were always on the water. I left school, did an apprenticeship as a motor mechanic uh, with a plan of finishing my apprenticeship and doing the big OE, which is really uh, common for New Zealand, overseas experience, you know, go off and uh, travel the world and see what it's all about. But uh, I ended up getting married at 20 and then together we decided to get on the property ladder instead. What seems like a lifetime later, my second wife and I planned to do the trip I always wanted, which was to uh, sail around Europe and then finish with a 10-day uh, uh, sailing uh, around the Greek islands. Then, about three weeks before we were due to leave New Zealand, um, I had a heart attack. I almost died, I had two stents fitted, um, and I was told that I couldn't travel for some time, so I uh, had to cancel the trip. Then, a couple of years later, we booked a trip to uh, go on a small ship cruise around the Fijian Islands. Um, I was so looking forward to it, but uh, COVID hit, and we had to cancel, of course, so uh, here goes another one. During the COVID lockdown, I made plans to retire at the end of 2022. I wanted to uh, buy a boat and sail the world. I started searching for boats, looking at all the different options, trying to work out what I wanted. And uh, I was also looking at the different markets with the potential of uh, buying a boat in the Caribbean or in the Mediterranean. At the beginning of 2021, I found myself alone, so I decided to do it now. I had just turned 58 and realised that I'd been working full time or more since the age of 16. So I decided now was the time for the big adventure. I set about getting the property on the market, which would finance my boat. I decided to broaden my search and came across the boat La Vida, which was based in Malaysia. However, the owner was here in New Zealand, so I contacted him to find out if it was still available. He said it was still available only for another day or two because he was about to give the go-ahead for a crew to sail it back to New Zealand so he could sell it here. So I paid a deposit, uh, was given a video tour of the boat by the people that were looking after her in Malaysia. Then I travelled up to Auckland to meet the owner and discuss things with him. So I decided to take the plunge, purchase the boat, sight unseen. Some say I'm mad, maybe I am, we'll see when I get there. In April, the house sale went through, so I was able to settle on the boat. I then arranged with Maritime New Zealand to get the name changed and was waiting for the registration. On the 11th of May, I received the registration papers for the boat, so I was then able to apply for entry into Malaysia. So on the 12th of May, I sent my application through to the uh, Malaysian consulate here in New Zealand. And um, the category that I was applying under was is called the uh, Malaysia My Second Home. On the 19th, I was advised that the Malaysia My Second Home um, program had been suspended. So now what was I going to do? The other thing I wanted to get done before heading over to Malaysia was to get the COVID vaccination. And so on the 21st of May, uh, I got my first jab. After getting some advice from contacts in Malaysia, I reapplied to the Malaysian consulate uh, as a foreigner. So now it's early June and I'm just waiting and hoping that Malaysia are going to give me permission to enter very soon. The boat is in a marina uh, on Reback Island, which is a small resort island um, off the coast of Langkawi, which is off the west coast of Malaysia, right up the top, uh, close to the Thailand border. The marina is costing about 760 New Zealand dollars per month to have the boat sitting there. And I'm also paying a company um, just to keep an eye on her as well. Apparently more and more countries are opening their borders uh, to people that have been fully vaccinated. Uh, apparently it's changing very quickly, so um, I'm hoping that uh, that might help me. So thanks for watching. If you want to follow my progress, please uh, like this video and maybe share it so your friends can uh, check it out as well. I plan to do a weekly video of my adventures, 
and I'll be inviting you to come and join me for a week or two uh, when the world opens up. So that's it. I'll uh, see you next time. Ciao.